everyone. Uh, to download the R Studio, you might want to go to the two links. First, you need to download the R, R Simple, and then R Studio. All right, the first step is to download the R. You can use this, uh, this web address, shan.r-project.org. All right, so once you uh, Google this one or hit enter, then uh, look at the R for Linux or R for MacBook, if you have that one, or R for Windows. So download whatever suits you. So for example, I have Windows, so I'll click on this one. All right, and then the next time is base, uh, contrib or old contrib or R tools. You wanna install the, install R first time. Our base, you can click on this one and then download R 4.03, uh, 4.0.3 and let's see whatever you got it. This one could be the latest one. Click on this one. Here you can pause the video and once it's installed, because I already have that one, so once it's in installed, then it's open and then run. And you only need to select English language. Do not forget to, you know, choose English language. Uh, you only need to select English language and then next, 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 and then uh, it will finish. And once its installation is completed, then you have to go to the, this uh, web address, which is rstudio.com slash forward product slash forward or studio slash forward download all right click on this one and then you will be able to see these this window and the first one is free for desktop all right so click over here download so again i because i installed the R for window so that's why it's, it's showing me over here on uh, download r studio for windows but if you have downloaded for linux or macbook it will give you an option over here so just click on this one see it will also um, show over here and once it's completed because i already have that one so i'm going to just cancel it so once it's downloaded and then you will be able to see the next window. So the R window, I'm gonna share my screen to you guys so that you can see how it will look like. All right, so once you complete the installation process, then um, go here and type R Studio. All right, and then click on this one and then this window will open up. So here is the, the interface of interface of R Studio. You might want you, your your R Studio might look like this, like these three window, or it might look like um, this these three window. So in total, so you have to click over here. You have to click over here on these these windows. So in order to in order to see the four windows. So uh, in upper left corner, this window is called our script script window, and down this the down left corner, that's this window is called console window, and the upper right corner, this window is called environment. Over here, you actually you see the data, whatever your data you are you are working on, and the fourth and last uh, window on my right lower hand corner, it shows the files and the plots, whichever you will be making. Uh, the packages, I'm going to discuss the packages and uh, the use of this window later on. Um, in just in a minute, I'm just going to give you a, a, just, uh, I mean a, a flavor of what these windows are. In this window, the first window, we usually write the commands, what we are going to use at later stage. I mean, the commands over here in first window, our subject window, you can save these commands. So once you run the commands, the console window shows you the results and it also used you can also use this console window for writing the commands all right and when you go up in your right hand window as i said these this window is for data visualization not data visualization actually for data so whatever data you are working on or vectors you are working on i mean in our economics and research methodology or in finance or uh, in marketing accounting, you'll be looking, uh, you, you pro most probably you'll be working on data frames. So if you're working on data frames, 
So here is the window. You'll be looking at the data data. So your data will appear over here. So for example, you are running a command that shows a plot or a graph. These plots and graphs can be can be seen in this window in my right hand down card over here. All right, so you so uh, when we will be doing our, our data analysis and um, uh, as we go forward in our data analysis, I'll be explaining you everything in detail. So over here, uh, I just changed the interface, a look of my uh, interface. You can also change the look of your interface. Just click on the tools and go to uh, go to the global options. So global options will give you so many options. Uh, how I change the look, uh, it, shows, it says the appearance over here. Click on the appearance. I like the cobalt. You can choose anyone like this or uh, this. So see this one is showing uh, showing the window or uh, 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 what colors of your writing would be, what colors of your command would be, what colors of your um, um, brackets would be parentheses would be all right so you might see first time the look of your window like this all right and probably in chrome but you can change it all right you, you probably will have a first look in chrome or clouds all right but you can change it i like this one cobalt cobalt so that's why i just select it and then apply it and then it's and then hit okay all right so this is how you can download the art studio and this is um, the interface of our studio. So see you uh, in next um, next video. So I'm going to upload the basic statistics or the basic analysis in our studio, especially for my research methodology class. All right, and you can use this basic analysis for uh, economics, for finance, for um, I mean the social sciences, all social sciences related research. Thank you very much. Bye bye.